Hey everyone, Overkill's back with another Dragon Ball video. Today, featuring the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Full Power Sun Goku. This is a new release from Tamashi Nations, and I am super stoked to have this to my collection. I got mine through Ageless Geeks, of course. And if you want to get anything from them, make sure you hit up the link in the description to get you a special discount code at Shop Ageless Geeks. That being said, the first thing we'll do is take a look at this awesome packaging. You can see I love the style of the new packaging stuff for the SH Figure Art figures. And I love the wraparound that shows the figure and all the poses and stuff. You will see that it does have the Tamashi Nations quality seal as well as the Toei animation sticker here. And it is the silver one because it is the U.S. release. We do have the Funimation sticker and then we do have the stamps, of course, for Dragon Ball Z, Tamashi Nations, and Bandai here. The side of the package has Super Saiyan Full Power Sun Goku. And on the back, finally we see the same thing here. It shows Goku firing off a Kamehameha. It shows a couple different poses using Ultra Instinct. Showing off the anime inspired face. And then it does have the blue fin Bandai Namco stuff on the bottom here as well. That's all there is to it. It's got a little yellow background on the back. So we'll go ahead, open this thing up, and check it out. So we will see in the clamshell. Kind of short, simple, to the point. We have the figure. A couple extra faces. A couple extra sets of hands. So it'll be pretty easy to go over all that. First thing we'll do is look at the Goku. And I think it looks pretty cool. We'll take off the uh, plastic thing to help. I guess we put them in to help with rubbing on the figure or something. But you can see he's got some pretty cool shading on him. Which is something they don't always do. So it's pretty cool to see that. And the blue's a little bit darker color. And this is supposed to be kind of an anime accurate Goku and everything blends pretty well there's a little bit of different colors helping I guess shading wise on the skin tones as well so it's essentially us getting a Super Saiyan Goku in this 2.0 body which is what we've been needing the hair nice and pointy mine's got a little bit of a defect right here on the back nothing major Articulation wise, we know what we can get from an SH Figure Arts. You get neck and head movement to an extent. It's on that ball peg inside there. It allows you to change out. If you want, I can show it to you. You can see how that's made. Just snaps it back in. The arms, you can see here, it's got a butterfly hinge, it's got an upper bicep cut. It does have double jointed elbows and the hands are on a peg as well you can see in there and it allows for really good movement and easy way to change out the hands his shoulder pads are on a little peg it's got a little hole here it goes into that allows for moving around to get him in some more dynamic poses you can take them off if you want to it just won't look accurate he does have some chest movement as well as waist movement here so it's kind of a three-piece movement moves here here and up under there under the belt the legs he should be able to do a pretty good split you can see how the mechanics of the legs are made on these style bodies plus this part here that moves that allows you to kind of rotate it around almost as far as you need and then the leg itself if you can hold it it moves as well so that's really cool double jointed knees no thigh or upper shin cut on either parts but the foot is on the peg same as the hand so you get really good dynamic movement and then that's toe articulation so i mean that's a pretty good way of looking at the articulation on it and this is a budget line figure from tomashi nation so it's really worth the price the sculpting looks really good you can see into the shirt down into the fabric all really nice looking so the sculpting and the shading and stuff done a really good job the paints really blend really well together so heck yeah really awesome stuff now what we'll do is go ahead and take a look at some of the extra faces and stuff we have four in total to look at counting the one on them 
So we'll take a look at it first. You can see it's just a determined look for Goku. And it's pretty easy. You just pop the hair off. You can pop this off here. You can see the faces have the hair here to help blend into this piece. And then next up, We'll put this one in and it's pretty simple change you can see he's kind of got the angry look and it's not too much different than this just kind of grit and teeth about you know the eyes well i guess it's you can see the differences there that's pretty cool we can do another quick change to the next one You see him powering up, screaming. Almost like the look he is when he's either going full power fighting Frieza or going Super Saiyan. Either one. That's a really good face for him right there, honestly. Set it to the side. And lastly, we have the one that people wasn't too fond of in the promo pictures. But it's the one that he had, the face he kind of had during the Cell Saga. See, it's Happy Goku. Kind of when he was training Gohan. I think it's pretty cool. It's the most anime accurate face that we've had on most of these figures. So that's definitely really cool looking. For that, we'll leave it on for now. We'll take a look at the hands. And we know, so we can just look at one each and get the gist of everything. You can see here. The fist just pop it out then you put the next one on pop it into the peg you know that's his posing up getting ready to fight hand then we have instant transmission hand Get one for each side, which is interesting because usually they only come with ones for just one side or the other. So that's a bonus to have them each. Or you could be doing the finger bang. Pop it off. Pop in the next one. You got a key blast. Pretty cool, just an open hand. And then lastly, kind of have the open palm hand, which is what I like to use to display him fighting, like he's catching a fist. Or sometimes I'll pose him up, and with his face would be great, like he's holding a Dragon Ball. Would be perfect, especially with face, like I said. And that is all the sets of hands. So what I'll go ahead and do is go ahead and get this guy set up, put him on the 360 turnaround, and do my final thoughts. So here he is on the 360 turnaround. We'll give a good look, be able to see some more with the lighting a little bit better here with the sculpting and the colors and stuff. The colors blend really well together. There's no offset oranges or blues or anything. It all matches really nice. You get to see the shading on the hair some and on the body. So it's all really cool. And like I said, there is even a little bit on the skin. So it's pretty cool. But the sculpting for the muscles and the clothes, even to the front, looks the wavy with the shirt and stuff. It's all really well done. And I'm really digging that. And this will be a very solid Goku to add to my collection. Another Goku. I have quite a bit of them. But he is my favorite character. So I'm not going to complain. The positives about this figure is he's relatively cheap for a Tomashi Nations figure. He comes with enough to get you by. It would have been good if he would have had like a Kamehameha effect or something. But, you know, he has four extra sets of hands and he has three other faces. So he comes with quite a bit for that price. So if you're able to snag him, definitely do so. The cons, there's not much to it. They put them in a good price range. Like I said, maybe an effect piece or a Dragon Ball something. Would have helped a little bit. Or, you know, give us a Dragon Radar with them. Because this kind of reminds me of Cell Saga Goku. And during that time, he was kind of looking for the Dragon Balls. And, you know, spending a lot of time with Gohan. So it would have been a pretty neat little 
Easter egg addition to add to it. But other than that, there's nothing else I can really say about it. Really well done figure. I'm liking it. Great for the collection. So, this was the Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Full Power Goku. Yes, that is a mouthful, but that is the name of it. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, I bid you all farewell.